Hi, I'm Dr. Damon Langeth, clinical immunologist at Sullivan Nicolaides Pathology and at the Wesley Hospital in Brisbane. My expertise is in investigating autoimmune disease, not only in the laboratory, but also seeing patients. I also assist general practitioners and specialists on investigation and on the utility, i.e. the use of tests in the laboratory. If your GP or specialist is concerned that you may have inflammatory bowel disease, i.e. Crohn's or ulcerative colitis, they'll likely order a faecal calprotectin. Calprotectin is a protein produced by all white cells, cells involved in your immune system. When they see inflammation, whether that be related to inflammatory bowel disease or infection or many other causes, they release this protein into their surrounds. When we're talking about the bowel, this means that protein is involved in your poo. If you take a sample of your poo to the laboratory, we can then detect it and tell you whether the amount is elevated. Um, if it's elevated, this then means that inflammation in your bowel is present and that further investigations by your general practitioner may be necessary to find out the cause. The finding of an elevated fecal calprotectin in your poo doesn't tell us where the inflammation is and it doesn't tell us what the cause of the inflammation is. So it's critical that you go back to your general practitioner or specialist and discuss further investigations that will be needed to find what and where that inflammation is. The result of the fecal calprotectin can give a large range of numbers. If it's very high, it may be very suggested that you have inflammatory bowel disease, i.e. Crohn's or ulcerative colitis. However, if it's a low positive, there are many possible causes. In some younger children, particularly under two, quite high positive results may occur in children with absolutely nothing wrong with them. The meaning of the result of the faecal calprotectin depends on who you are and what symptoms you might have. If you have known inflammatory bowel disease, and then we're talking about ulcerative colitis and Crohn's, and your specialist or GP are measuring your fecal calprotectin, they're looking at it to gauge how active your disease is. Sometimes people's inflammatory bowel disease is quite active despite them having few symptoms. And sometimes people have recurrent symptoms which are not related to the activity of the inflammatory bowel disease. To work out whether this is activity of the inflammatory bowel disease, a fecal calprotectin will often be performed. If it's elevated, this may mean that your medication may be changed by your specialist or general practitioner. Of course, prior to fecal calprotectin, this may well have needed you to have another colonoscopy, something that no one thinks is fun. Fecal calprotectin has been available for more than five years, but over the last couple of years has increased in frequency. This means that in patients with inflammatory bowel disease, the test can better evaluate the activity of that disease and lead to better quality of life for those patients.